questions for reflection. Our first reading for today's Holy Mass contains verses from the first chapter of the second letter of the Apostle Paul to the Thessalonians. Often, and for several reasons, the readings we hear at Mass are not continuous. In other words, like today, we heard verses 1 through 5, and then verses 11 and 12. Sometimes this is done to emphasize a point, or perhaps for brevity. It's called a pericope. But sometimes it leaves out important insights. I feel that today it did. Listen to verses 6 through 10 of the first chapter, and I quote, Since indeed God deems it just to repay with affliction those who afflict you, and to grant rest with us to you who are afflicted, when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, inflicting vengeance upon those who do not know God, and upon those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus. And it continues, and I quote, they shall suffer the punishment of eternal destruction and exclusion from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his might when he comes on that day to be glorified in his saints and to be marveled at in all who have believed because our testimony to you was believed, end quote. Yes, the Lord will indeed judge them for their actions. That is a part of the message of the sacred scriptures. There are consequences to human actions, but it is the Lord who renders them. As for us, we are called to just stay faithful, to join with the psalmist in proclaiming God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. We are to announce his salvation day after day. Every Catholic Christian, indeed every Christian, is called to evangelize to share the gospel with all men and women. The Catholic Church has always taught that every single human being on the face of the earth has a right to hear the liberating gospel message of Jesus Christ as fully revealed in the heart of his Catholic Church. That will be accomplished in this hour by you and me. No matter what our state in life or specific vocation, we are all baptized into Christ and called to participate in the saving mission of his church. Do we share the faith? In the gospel for today's mass, Jesus has harsh words for some of the purportedly religious leaders of the day, the scribes and the Pharisees. He calls them hypocrites. A hypocrite is one, quote, who puts on a false appearance of virtue or religion, a person who acts in contradiction to his or her stated beliefs or feelings. In other words, they were not walking the talk. In the first section of the same chapter from which we heard this text, Jesus told the crowds to observe what they said, but not what they did. He told the crowds, quote, he who is greatest among you shall be your servant. And that's Matthew 23, 11. A priest friend once reminded me that not all the Pharisees were so blinded by their self-righteousness that they failed to recognize that the one whom they so often sought to correct was God incarnate. And of course, he was correct. The Pharisees were a genuine religious reform movement which sought to bring faithful Jews back to living the fullness of the law of Moses in order to witness to the truth. However, the ones who the evangelists who penned the four gospels used to communicate a danger which can afflict all of us, those ones were certainly blinded by their own self-righteousness, and they succumbed to the sin of spiritual pride. That is why they are given to us as tutors. But by the grace of God, we can fall into the same trap. It happens before we know what has occurred. How are we doing?